Hi, welcome to tutorial 3 of SARS. Today's tutorial deals with mapping heritage cases via other files that you might have mapped already on another GIS program, such as a KML file for Google Earth, or you might have mapped it using uh, ArcGIS or MapInfo, Global Mapper, uh, there are various other applications out there. Um, it would be quite time consuming to remap something you've already c correctly mapped for your application. So we've come up with a workaround to uh, pull your information into SARS without having to redo all the work. So I've logged in as the applicant demo account. I've attached the Amoyla demo case to this uh, applicant accounts dashboard and I've deleted the the maps um, that were in the previous tutorials and I've left this uh, this one that I've mapped earlier using a, a KML file. Um, you'll notice the, the polygon is quite long um, because the Google Earth allows you to draw uh, an irregular shaped polygon and then it stores many more um, vertices than um, are easily done using the Drupal Open Layers module. And that is another way of, for instance, mapping something which has got a more complex shape than your normal cases. But in general, we find the developments follow property boundaries uh, or parts thereof. Uh, and it's not necessary really to, to generate something quite as complicated as this. In order to use the new field, which is a temporary field, you'll see it's only available once you edit the case. Uh, under the location tab you'll see below the map now is a new field this is a temporary field and it's a well-known text field which is the format that Drupal maps in um, if your map which is a f has a field value behind the map if it is zero or null and this field has a valid uh, geometry string uh, attached to it then it will overwrite the map value when you hit save. So in the background what it's doing is running a rule um, every time you save the content. So if I hit save now it will simply do nothing because there is a, a field value already in the map um, and even though I have a valid polygon uh, specified here uh, it won't do anything. If I would like to overwrite that map then I need to zoom in, get rid of the, the value that I have there and then I need to save and that will save over this one but at the moment this polygon is actually the same thing as I have over there. I'm going to take um, another polygon that I generated in Google Earth and I'm going to show you how to push that data into uh, Cyrus. So I have a KML file uh, open here it's KML and I've opened it up using WordPad, you can use Notepad or any other text editor and you'll see the uh, header, the labels and so forth are all specified and then somewhere down the middle you'll see the coordinates. Uh, the KML file format uh, adds um, additional information that's slightly different format to what is expected in a well-known text file. So if you haven't got a program that automatically converts from KML to well-known text, WKT, um, then you can still do it, but it uh, just means a little bit of editing before on your part. So I'm going to copy this, the line string there, which is a po it's, it represents a polygon. Uh, minimize that. Let's get in here. So I'm going to keep the polygon header then I will remove all of these but before I do that let me just point out what it's doing there so it's the vertices and it's separated by space and then a comma before the next vertex okay so when we paste the value from the KML file just done that I need to get rid of the zeros and I need to get rid of the commas in the wrong places so that comma needs to go as well as that zero and just keep going until we've got it all correctly set out and 
looks good. Okay, great. Right, let's hit save. And hopefully it does the trick. It'll give you an error if you've put something in incorrect in that field. Ah, there's location. Great, perfect. So there's our new polygon. So we removed the, the one we didn't want and we entered a correct value in the temporary field. Let's go back to edit and do it incorrectly and you'll see the, the error that pops up. So let's add a zero here and a comma there. Save. Before we save, let's delete that value there. Okay, save. So now the rule's running in the background and it's given us an error because the value here is incorrect um, and the this is blank. If this was not blank, it wouldn't have mattered what we entered in here because it, the rule wouldn't be triggered. So I'm going to get rid of that zero I entered and put back the space and let's hit save again. And that will now map the, the polygon. If you're using um, a program like Global Mapper, which will export to, to WKT for you from KML or uh, shape files or GPX files, then you, you'll end up with something that might look similar to this. So there, in this case, I took a KML file from Google Earth, I imported it into Global Mapper, I then exported that file to WKT as a CSV file, and it did, it did everything correctly, except it added this little bit on um, from Global Mapper. So it's a label, geometry, and just decided that my label. Now, the SARS field value in the uh, in the heritage cases is not expecting a label um, attribute. This is not an incorrect attribute or something wrong with Global Mapper. It's just that in this particular layer, um, it's not expecting it um, to be provided with an additional attribute. So all at once is the geometry. So um, that's from here on in. So let's do that. Let's highlight the geometry and we could then paste that into um, the uh, to the layer, so let's do that. Okay, and edit. Back to location info. Let's stick it in here. And I'm going to remember delete. So let's let's show you what happens if I don't delete the um, the the, view, the the map value. Okay, so I'm going to hit save. Even though I've entered something correct into the well-known text uh, temporary field, um, it hasn't done anything. So you can see I've still got the same map layer that I had before. So I'm going to hit edit. I don't have to do any new work because it'll save that value in my temporary field, that's fine. But all I need to do is remove that layer. Now I can hit save. And hopefully I've plugged this in correctly good yep there we go so now my location info shows you this very nice irregular polygon which is represented by that KML that I pulled through okay so remember that get rid of the labels um, plug it in directly here and off you go if you cannot export to WKT and you find the uh, KML opening up the KML file in uh, a text editor a bit complicated just attach your KML file to the case under attach docs and your case officer will do the rest for you um, but have a go it's not too difficult and um, you know it's it's very easy to copy and paste as long as you know the format that's expected